no this is perfect guys okay i'll share the code um in the description please remember to subscribe guys this is a cross-platform pomodoro timer app with tasks and persistent tasks and break functionality so make sure you use it i'm definitely gonna use this so on the desktop um pomodoro using quen 2.5 coder in ada so i'm just going to be using windsurf but not really its features let me activate my conda environment let's upgrade ada it's a new version i think released yesterday you can create aliases no detect urls updated the coin 2.5 coda model configuration improved error handling for gate operations so no that's good okay let's try it out okay case sensitive let's try it out again cool the model is selected let's just test it out let's say hi finally it recognizes my environment uh, variable that i set on my computer okay let's continue so what is the prompt let's start with this premise okay yes let's create that requirements yes build exe yes e yes run the shell command pip install uh, requirements dot txt fix error it's included with python okay run the shell command windowed pomodoro timer.py okay okay we see a build folder and a dist folder something's happening let's look at the code itself this is like the size that i want and i'm going to need it to be always on top oh here's the exe file i'm going to reveal in explorer and try to run it there it is guys let's start stop start great so what i'm gonna do next is that uh let me check my tokens first that's four thousand that's great what i want now let's just clear whatever is in the chat tokens yep went down so what we need now is that add a reset button also make the app always on top we're going to do this step by step uh, yes build it again although we probably do not want to be doing this every time so we can comment this one out okay pomodoro timer here it is is it always on top yeah it's always on top i don't see a reset button here uh, no i do not see a reset button also add the ability to add check to add tasks which i can check as completed yes executed There seems to be an error here. Oh, it's because I have it open, I think. Yeah. Duh. Oh, 
Oh, that building was quick. I still don't see it though. That's weird. Okay, let's change this to actually dark mode. Start when the reset button and tasks are not visible. Also, always start the timer on the bottom right of the screen. Uh, yes, add it to the chat. That's great. Uh, yes, fix the lint errors. Unexpected indentation, line 110. Pomodoro timer, this is not supposed to be in here. This is also not supposed to be in here. Let's save that. No. Let's rebuild the EXE. rerun it bottom right yes i still do not see the reset button is it the size oh look at that it's the size okay found out by just using logic here i increase the size of the app make it look professional and duck themed uh lint errors okay, let's try to get it to fix them okay let's run it oh looks much better now the task doesn't look the best Okay, start, reset, start, task one. Okay, um, a breakfast, a breakfast, mark has completed. Oh, nice, it has a checkbox there. If I mark this one as well, nice. Then can I unmark something? Oh, okay, it doesn't unmark. Uh, great. Now align the buttons horizontally. Also save the Pomodoro sessions and their tasks in um a SQLite database. Create a new file, yes. Pip install, and then what else? Uh, Py installer, okay, looks good. Error, could not find a version of what? Um, requirements, probably a version of SQLite. Is it built in? Is SQLite 3 built in? That's nice, man. Let's test it out, okay. Okay, there's a Pomodoro Sessions DB here. Let's just open the DB. ID, start time, and time type. What is type? It has sessions, it has tasks. Session ID. Okay, a task, and whether it's completed or not. This is perfect. Eh? Let's test it first. Okay. The idea is start and end time. Oh, there's no end time, of course. Type work. <laughs> I like that. And then in tasks, there we go. And then Pomodoro app. And the task Pomodoro app. There we go. This looks good. 
So is it creating a session for every task? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's tell it to update that term. Task is created. Okay, couldn't edit the code properly. I'll, I'll probably have to update the repo map. Maybe it's being confused with other code. So I'm gonna clear, uh, just refresh the repo map, and then ask it the same thing again. Okay, cool. So it was able to do it after we cleared. That's perfect. Let's run it again. Okay, it has an error. Fix. Let's just tell it to fix it. Uh, execute that. Cool, there we go. Okay, let's test it out. Let me start a session and say T1. And then say T2. This is perfect. It waits for a session first. Is it the same session though? Yes, it is the same session now. This is perfect. Ah, this is great. Okay, let's create a GitHub repository for this. ChatGPT gave us a Git ignore for T Kinta. Let's save this. Cool, it looks good. If we go to Pomodoro desktop, here we are. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. Now, I wanted to make a sound. Stopped. Oh, there's a play sound library. Okay, it needs a notification sound. Okay, now we have a Pomodoro.wave, notification.wave sound. Okay, um, MP3, play sound, okay. I have my own sound here, yeah, let's save. Start, pause, no sound, resume, perfect. Then reset, okay, it's perfect, start, end. Okay, um, just a small trick. Now this is perfect, guys. Okay, I'll share the code um, in the description. Please remember to subscribe, guys. This is a cross-platform Pomodoro timer app with tasks and persistent tasks and break functionality. So make sure you use it. I'm definitely going to use this. I was using a, a mobile app, so I had to look at the app and it was distracting me. So now I use this. This is a Pomodoro app. I just put it on... Um, the bottom right side of my screen as long as it doesn't distract me and then i work and then i can uh, be more productive guys be more productive this is quen 2.5 coder 32b um it just needs you to nest it a bit for it to perform better but yeah i highly recommend this open source large language model performs very well i didn't have many coding issues with it throughout building this app looks great um yeah man and there's a change because uh, many tutorials and many apps are showing web applications are web-based so i wanted to show that quen 2.5 coda 32b can actually create desktop apps cross-platform desktop apps this is my video remember to subscribe to the channel and like the video i appreciate it guys please subscribe guys